Hey, New Life, it's Pastor Steve for the Inner Circle. Hope you're having a great Tuesday uh, afternoon. I'm going to try to keep this short because I actually got to head back out, go to rehearsal in, I don't know, about an hour and a half. Um, I want to leave you with something today that I think is important. Uh, we can get kind of sucked in to the just the, the national conversation that's going on that, that actually is quite negative most of the time. But I want to leave this with you uh, from Proverbs 15, uh, chapter 15, verse 15, actually. It says, for the, for the despondent, every day brings trouble. For the happy heart, life is a continual feast. And uh, I was reading that a couple days ago, and that really struck me as, um, you know, how, how we uh, approach life really, really determines our experience of life. Um, if... if uh, if we embrace all that negativity and take it on as our own and um, you know, let depression set in uh, about the circumstances around us and what we see, and rightfully so, it is not good all the time and it's serious and, and I'm not saying you know, pretend it's not, but, but um, I've found uh, as you study history and study great leaders, um, even in the most horrible of times, they have a positive outlook. They can, they can see the, the bright side of things. Um, and basically, it's their way of approaching life, but they can always find the silver lining. They can always see the good, even when they're surrounded by, you know, even great evil sometimes. So I, w- I want to leave that with you. How you choose to approach life and how you choose to see life um, has a big impact on how you experience life. And it says, for the happy heart, life is a continual feast. Meaning, uh, you know, it, it doesn't mean just if everything is going good that, that life is going to seem like a feast. No, it says for the happy heart, for those who choose joy, for those who choose to see that God is still uh, Lord over this world. And this world is a great and beautiful place. Um, yes, there's, there's evil in the world also, but it's not all just evil. Um, it's important to remember that um, there is good in this world. There's good people. There are... Um, just beautiful places to be and and every relationship is precious um when you approach life that way um life can be a continual feast and and don't forget that psalm psalm 23 where it it says that god prepares a table for me in the presence of my enemies um and that talks literally about feasting in the midst of hard times or trouble um you can literally uh enjoy life no matter what your circumstances are you know, your circumstances are not the determining factor whether you can enjoy life you are um and i'm not saying it's just mind over matter but if you choose joy if you choose love if you choose to see the good if you choose to embrace that there is good even amongst the bad um you will find life to be so much more enjoyable even in this season in this time uh, i hope that was uh encouraging to you guys um we just had some amazing worship last Tuesday when we had our worship and intercession night. Our, uh, really deep intercession. We had a great service on Sunday. Um, God's moving. And this, this September 18th, Pray South Jersey thing that's coming up, I'm excited about. I believe that um, it's going to move some mountains. I believe that uh, the main thing I, I'm, I'm really praying for is that revival, real revival, comes to the church. Because, um, you know, uh, it has to come to the church before we can take it to the world. Um, so that's my prayer. My prayer is that uh, this sparks revival in me, in my church, in my church congregation, and in the, all the, the church of the South Jersey area, because that's what we're praying for. Uh, I will see you guys in church on Sunday. Come ready to worship. I love you guys. I'll see you then.